creativity that God will anoint people to be creative do new things or old things in new ways that you set a pace my brothers and my sisters let no man deceive you that there is poverty in Zaria no it's just that the avenue to find expression is smaller but there are opportunities beyond your imagination every day millions of naira continue to exchange hands in this city by only a few people creativity creativity is not in the realm of men you don't get creativity through education creativity is of the spirit there is a spirit in man what were you filled with the holy ghost for there is a spirit in man jesus revealed a new way of saving men until then we use the blood of bulls but jesus came and showed us that the price can be paid once and for all never did they know that the holy ghost could come and stay on men he would come and go but a new thing came he said behold i do a new thing remember not the former things listen the instrument of survival in our generation today will be the spirit of creativity the grace for uncommon inventions i'm telling you this noah warned just like i'm warning noah warned just like i'm warning and told them the rain is coming i tell you there is a financial holocaust that is hitting people the bible says it that the earth of men will be brass and under will be iron but there are people who will be preserved a remnant that will be preserved i came out this morning i usually don't come out and i decided to just come out in the afternoon i didn't know it was this hot when i came out and the way the the sun it was so serious i just stood and i looked i said my god and i said this is my message oh lord this is exactly what is going to happen to people think of what happens when you stand in the sun for long headache pain yet there are people who will have to be exposed to those things and do you know the pain when you hold all your children together and say junior stand in this sun with me and junior is saying is this how life was meant to be and satan now looks at him and says junior come there is a way out and Gino says, Daddy, since you cannot fight, you are not a father. Our children will be more audacious than us. Their generation has made them audacious. So if you are a father, you have to be a father indeed. A mother indeed. Otherwise, we will lose our children. And the law courts have been empowered to make sure you cannot take care of the child. They say, let's take care of your child. Meaning whatever we teach him, provided we are the ones feeding him no government will feed my child in the name of jesus no no i reject it koinonia will never stand in front of any government office waiting to receive welfare at the expense of the gospel at the expense of the truth but this will be a blind foolish boast until you understand the power of creativity listen very carefully God is teaching us something tonight that will save us. Exposure, creativity, the mind that thinks, the mind that works, spirit-inspired mind, the mind that can bet solutions from the realm of the spirit. Bet solutions. I was sharing with someone this afternoon of a woman that used to make, I don't know what she makes now, 500,000 in Abuja here jobs did not come and everything did not come and she was praying and god gave her an idea and she went and met certain families that she can teach their children well and she's not doing a general extra moral lesson it's a vip extra moral lesson and it started like two children three children right in her house and those students were behaving exceptionally well but more than that she was teaching them character character and then she will play koinonia messages too these children were changing in remarkable ways and the parents started recommending their circle of influence that's always what happens when you penetrate one circle they will call the others like them to you 
and like play like play this woman would collect ten thousand naira per month as at the time that i was talking with her she had like 50 children only god knows how much she has now the gates of destiny will not open on its own you force it he said right from the days of john the baptist and until now the kingdom suffered violence and is the violence that will take it by force the spirit of invention listen to me if you stay with the holy spirit and say lord let something from the throne room come upon my mind for my generation god can put something on your mind something on your mind and change your life change your life i saw a picture on the internet one day the person's cloth they wrote 400 dollars then his his tie they wrote 20 dollars and then his head they wrote zero dollars are we together that's a picture of our generation packaging and there is nothing from the realm of the spirit and i told you that resources only follow productivity is god blessing us I'm already very proud and happy about many of us that God is granting grace. Not just to hustle, but to think. This, this praying in tongues must translate into blessing everything. up. It's not only power to shake. No, it must come upon your mind. Please lay your hand on your head in the next two, three minutes. And I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, let something come from heaven. Zakatoske parakata from heaven oh god a creative idea from the throne room that i will have the boldness and the courage to execute that will change my life please pray please pray Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Creativity. Everybody writes books, but there is a way that God can anoint you to write one book in a certain way. And that book will bless people creativity. Koinonia messages today are blessing people because of the power of creativity. God gave an instruction and said, while people, the regular way is to have message stands at the end of a service and come and pick up. And God says, no, I will do it differently don't sell the teachings i'm not saying selling teachings are wrong but he said just put them on on facebook and the angel of the lord will take them to nations that one creative idea there are ladies here you can have a creative idea listen when you solve the problem of kings you will eat with them you solve you will eat with whatever level whoever's level you solve their problem that's the, the realm you will eat at listen there are some of you here god can anoint you and put grace on you you will design clothes that will, the person who will call you to surprise you you will just hear a call and they will say who is this you say come are you the one who brought this design come it's not about many customers it's about quality people there are men that represent nations listen listen I want you to start solving the problem of kings. You have done well to solve the problem of mean men. That God will empower you to solve the problem of kings. 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 Gentiles have already come to your light. It's time for their kings to come. Their kings to come. Is it not in the Bible that kings will entreat your favor? Kings. Kings. That God will put something on your mind on your mind grace i heard about somebody please sit down we'll soon pray sit down i heard about a gentleman true story and i was sharing with, with someone this afternoon he sat down and this guy was going through a lot of pain 
and he kept praying and crying before God and the next thing he saw a mowing machine machine that cuts grasses and he had some little savings and he went and bought it when he bought it he went to knock the gate of a very wealthy man who has a big land and say sir I'm a young man I'm a graduate it's just that I didn't have um, any you know no employment and I just bought a machine I know that there are young boys that cut grasses but my machine I can mow it down and then pack everything and the man looked at him and laughed and said I'm impressed these are the kind of men I want you're welcome come in and he came in and mowed the man's grasses he was so well and he told him that not only the grasses I can also trim the flowers listen the person I'm telling you today is a millionaire he deals in everything that has to do with he bought these machines they mow houses for wealthy people and then they sell flowers flowers they to the point that he even imports certain varieties from a crying graduate to a praying one and something comes from heaven and changes your life for as long as we sit down and continue to tell ourselves one day it go better my brothers and my sisters let me tell you you will find out that time is going and the only thing increasing in your life is your age are we together i know a woman a dear precious woman in lagos every time i have the privilege to go there and around that ministry i'm very quick to order her her products health drinks completely organic 100 percent because the need to live long and live healthy you see when you are poor is not a concern because the work you do will not even allow fats to remain in your body and all of this but by the time god helps you small you find out that at a level is a serious concern and this this woman started selling health drinks and you know beautifully packaged and only God knows how much she makes. There's a lady from Joss, a precious lady. She may be listening now. She came for Koinonia here with a product. She worked for somebody and came and God gave her ideas, a combination for weight loss, healthy, organic weight loss products that is cheaper and affordable, 100% organic. And that lady blessed. I saw it. I was so impressed. When I went to Joss, I told the lady, I said, put it and take it and go and give my parents let them take it and let them be blessed the goal is not far from you when the spirit of creativity comes on you you will see what others don't see it's true anything can bless it depends on how it is served are we together there's one mama that sells kunu kunu sorry for those of you who are not in the north it's a drink a local you know drink that we take a lot here i tell you there's a woman that sells that and the way she does it even you know sometimes you just want to get all of these things and she can supply you whether a gallon or whatever it is please my brothers and my sisters lay your hand on your head again and command creativity to work for you rebuke laziness rebuke excuses there has to be a way out of it the warfare that is executed through creativity only creative men can survive upon that mountain there is a way out there is a way out there has to be a way out of struggling